If you wish to, you can forget anything that you have thought or said or done, either in whole or in part, if you really wish to. Just like you can have an intense dream at night and you wake up and you forget that dream. You can remember what has transpired or not as you yourself wish and that choice is yours and yours alone. You can remember parts of a memory. You can transform that memory. You can remember and use certain ideas, but if you do not, you need not remember parts of it. You can drop it. You can remember some of it, not at all. Now, here's the thing. Speaking to this idea that memories sometimes stick around because we still have something to learn from them. Do you suppose you learn something really important from that experience. I obviously do not know you, but your unconscious mind does know you. And then I do not know what you have been through. We can never truly know what another person has been through. And what I'm asking you is, do you suppose you learn something really important about the world because of that experience? Do you suppose you learned something, really learned something valuable about yourself? Now, I'm not saying that you enjoyed anything that happened. It might have been a very difficult way to learn that lesson. But aren't you glad that you learned from that? I'm not saying that you come up with an answer right now in words or in feelings or an image or in a dream. But the important thing to remember is that you are complex. And part of your ability as a complex biological human being is the ability to understand and process things on different levels, multiple levels. Just like you can dream at night, you can be safely in bed while at the same time that you're dreaming that you're hungry or cold, and yet on another level you know you're still safely in bed. Now, I believe in letting your mind roam and think and understand anything. There are reasons why you want to forget parts of your past and let them go. You have some purpose in mind. But what exactly that purpose is to your unconscious mind, I do not know. Usually you do not know. But your unconscious mind does know a great deal more. And you unconscious mind, in knowing that additional material, can let it come to your mind slowly, gradually, in such a way that you're not disturbed, in such a way that you're not distressed, in such a way that you can become aware that you can handle things. You can handle those memories and understand them and discover there are some things that you dislike and some that you like. And there are many, many different understandings that are possible to you. And one of the nicest thing about hypnosis is also one of the nicest things about dreams. And that is in the trance state, in the dream state, you can dare to look at and think and see and feel things that you wouldn't dare in the ordinary waking state. I believe in letting your mind roam and think and understand anything.
and you fall restfully into physiological sleep, and you sleep restfully the whole night, or you sleep restfully during a nap, and you do not need to remember your dreams, nor will they disturb your sleep. But you will go deeper, and you will understand things. We have all had the experience of having an intense dream, a meaningful dream, and upon waking, you forget that dream. We know the unconscious can dream, and you can easily forget that dream. Now, I do not know what is right for you. Only you do. I would just like to have you discover how useful this might be for you in your own time and in your own way, respecting yourself as a person and a personality. There's a lot to you. And every person is just like their fingerprints, one of a kind. There will never be another like you. And you need to enjoy always being you. Now, I don't know if you think you're in a hypnotic trance. I don't know if you think you're awake and you can remember what has transpired here or not as you yourself wish. And that can be anything that you wish. The choice is yours and yours alone. You're not gonna know right now what will come out of this. You have many dreams to have and to experience. Every night you can take a dream and you can dream it again with a different set of characters in a different situation. You can use the dream to practice what you want to practice, what you want to let go in a way that is beneficial to you. And whenever you're ready, you can do what seems right to do, depending on where you are and what you need. If you're in bed, you can go deeper into sleeping and dreaming, or merely fall asleep dreaming deeper. If you're not in bed, you can open your eyes. If you've had them closed, look around, feel your feet on the ground. Whatever is right for you, And whatever you do next, you can begin to look at things in a new way, feel things in a new way. Sooner or later, you will notice something nice about yourself that you haven't noticed for quite some time. And sooner or later, there will be some wonderful sensations in your body that you haven't felt in quite some time. Enjoy. I look forward to seeing you in a future session. You can go through this session and repeat it as many times as you want to or need to, to experience that delightful letting go.
Now, I'm not saying that you enjoyed anything that happened. It might have been a very difficult way to learn that lesson. But aren't you glad that you learned from that?